Hey, I'm Dirty Dan and welcome back to Greasy Boy Customs. Today we're going to put a foot clutch kit on the 99 Softail. We'll zoom in, show you the kit, show you what comes with it, and then we'll try to figure out how this works. First things first, here is the kit. There is our part number. Again, this was about $150. It comes with your new clutch cable, as well as your mounting bracket, the hardware, the peg, and your lever. The one thing it does not come with is the shifter. We're gonna make our own and get it on there. First, let's go ahead and get all this stuff off and get started. All right, we've got motorcycle supported. Again, this is not the safest way to do it. I don't have a motorcycle jack right now, but we've got some blocks under here to catch it just in case, and we don't have it jacked up very high, so it's pretty stable. We're gonna start off by putting on the bracket. Now, if you look at it, this is where your cable is going to come in now. And if you look at this bolt pattern, it is very similar to the one on the original pedal. So we're gonna use that to kind of mimic how it goes. It's gonna be something kind of like this. We got the bracket mounted on there the way I think it goes because it came with no instructions, zero instructions. Got the kickstand bolted back on, put the peg on, it's just kind of loose, just leave it there. It's like Walmart furniture. We've also got our pedal lever and the pivot pin that's going to go in there. And this hardware, which we have no idea what it's for. But we'll get there, we'll figure it out. Oh yeah, I forgot about this hardware too. I believe this is going to slide in here and you have a plastic or fiber wash or whatever the hell it is and then you're going to put your pedal in the appropriate position wherever you want it. I'm not exactly sure what it's going to be yet. This looks awful though because I can tell you right now that's not going to be comfortable. Maybe it goes the other way. Who knows? And this was the exact point where I realized that this clutch kit is a piece of crap and probably not really made for the model bike that I'm working on, even though the package was clearly labeled that, we had to make some modifications. Let me show you what we had to do to make this work. Things first, they wanted you to mount the foot peg down here. Now, let's take a step back and look at it. Okay, your lever's here. Now, this can be flipped around the other way, but put your foot peg all the way here. That puts your foot not only two inches further forward than your right-hand side, but also two inches down, which makes it really awkward and goofy, and that's not right at all. I will say that the bracket bolted up correctly, the cable is great, the linkage, the mechanism, all that is fine, but I had to buy a peg mount, drill a hole, take the factory peg, mount it up here, it actually worked out perfect, and I just have to modify this arm because I want this part to be a little bit out here more, so we may either make a new arm or extend this or move it out so it works better. Uh, we also had to make our own shifter because it doesn't come with one. And as you can see here, I used a old doorknob. I believe it's porcelain. I'm really not even sure. Welded it to a steel bar. I bent into shape. And then right here, this is the arm, the factory arm. Now, all I did, and you can't really see it too well, but you can a little bit, kind of. Yep. So this is three-quarter square tubing. It actually slides right over the factory shifter arm. And then you just drill a hole in it and bolt it on there. Do whatever you want. So, only things left to do are trim this BS off, move this a little bit, and secure your cable. But honestly, it's not going anywhere. A black one probably would have been better. Let's take her for a spin. 